Raise your hand if you have ever been the person that was like, we are never ever getting a dog and now you got the dog and you are the most obsessed person <laughs> about the dog. Oops. That was me. I swore that we were not getting a dog for a really long time, but then a couple months ago, I kind of told you guys that we became a dog family for the first time, and it has been life changing. She is just like the best thing ever. So, I want to introduce you to our dog and tell you about some of our favorite things. Okay, this is Luna. I actually call her Boo Boo because Luna, Lulu, Boo Boo, she only has about 15 nicknames, but she is my favorite thing in the whole world. I just adore her and I love her so much. So she is a six month old Catan de Tulier and we got her in October and she has been nothing but just a joy. I just love her so much. Oh. Okay, anyway, I'll put her back in her bed, but I'll tell you a little bit more about Luna and then show you some of our favorite dog products. All right, we got Luna because our neighbors, Nicole and Aaron, they are some of our good friends. Their dog, Copper, was just so wonderful. Every time that we saw them, every time that we like went to their house and we were like with Copper, our kids were obsessed with her and she was just so, so nice. She was super smart, her coat is so soft, she's hypoallergenic and she was just like such a well-mannered dog that we were like, what? Like maybe this is the kind of dog that we want to get. So we talked to them and they put us in touch with the breeder that they got Copper from and we kind of like looked at a couple dogs over a couple months and we landed on Luna. She is just so wonderful. So Catan de Tulier is kind of a like rare breed. They're like the national dog of Madagascar and the reason they're called Catans is because their fur is like cotton. It is so soft. It literally feels like a minky couture blanket. She is so soft. She doesn't shed. We have allergies at our house so it was really important that to me that we don't have a dog that has you know fur and dander because we also have friends and family that are a allergic to dogs. So we wanted to get just a really well-mannered, smart, kind of a mid-sized dog. And she hit every single box and she's exceeded everything because we love her so much. Anyway, these are kind of some of the things that we got for her. And I'm going to preface this by saying the number one best thing that we did for Boo Boo was get her professionally trained. Now I know this is a huge huge luxury and it's not something that I had ever done before, but this is something that like I accounted for before we got her because I personally wanted to have a dog that was well-trained, well-mannered, that I could trust to, you know, make the right decisions. And like, I didn't have to like worry about when the doorbell rang or when people came over or when we went out. I really wanted her to be a well-mannered, like confident dog that was going to make the right decisions. So that being said, about six weeks after we got her, after she had gotten all of her vaccinations, we sent her to a local dog trainer here. His name is Michael Lobato with Lobato Dog Training. He came so highly recommended. Like I did so much research. I talked to a bunch of neighbors and friends and I looked on Facebook groups and read Google reviews and Michael is a dog whisperer. He is phenomenal. So we sent Luna to his board and train program and she was there for five and a half weeks where she learned basically he said like how to be a farmer's market dog so that means that she's going to be well-mannered and like a boring dog so they're not going to freak out or like run away or do like all these things that I thought dogs just do and there's no hope for them and he taught her so many amazing things to just be a well-mannered good dog <laughs> and so we are so grateful for Michael he loved her and like he stayed at her home for the whole five and a half weeks. He sent us videos and updates. He did an amazing, amazing job. He's been training dogs since I think he said he was like 17 years old. He really is just like so good with them. And then at the end when she came home, he gave us like a two hour training session basically on how to keep up with her training, how to help her be like to her full potential. And I am so grateful for Michael because he was incredible. So huge shout out to Lovato Dog dog training. You can find them on Instagram, Facebook, and I think they also have a YouTube channel. I think he has like a free dog training that we watch. So check them out. He's local to Utah and I just am so grateful. He was amazing and I'm just so, so grateful for everything he did for our dog. Okay, now let's move on to some of my favorite Amazon products that we bought for Luna. So one of the best things that we bought for her is this Oxy Fresh Water Additive. When she got back from training and within like the first week or two, we noticed that her breath was so 
bad. Like it just stink so bad. And we brushed her teeth using a little toothbrush, but she hated it. And we were like, we cannot be traumatizing her all the time with this toothbrush. So I bought this on Amazon the very first day because all you do is you add it to their water bowl and it freshens their breath. It like kills or neutralizes the bacteria that causes the bad breath. So it says freshens breath, cleans teeth, fights tartar, and it's fast acting. And I will tell you within two days, her breath went from like could kill someone to like neutral, like still like dog breath, but it's not gonna kill me anymore. So this stuff was amazing. All I have to do is add a quarter teaspoon per eight ounces of water, but she doesn't drink very much water. So I just do an eighth of a teaspoon for a half a cup of water. So then I can replenish her water and keep it fresh every like all throughout the day. And you just add it to the water and the breath smells so much better. So this stuff is awesome. I bought it in a two pack and I think it was like a little bit less than $30 for two of these bottles, but I only use maybe a quarter teaspoon a day. So this is gonna last forever. And number one product I would recommend. The next thing that I absolutely love and that we already had is our Bissell Little Green Carpet Cleaner. When she came back from training, she was like pretty much 100% potty trained and we bell trained her within like a day or two. But before then, when she was just like a 12 week old puppy, she was having some accidents here and there. And so it was a lifesaver to have the carpet cleaner. Like I think if you have a pet, you need to have a carpet cleaner because it's just inevitable that you will have some little messes and some accidents here and there. So the Bissell Little Green was amazing. I also bought this highly rated spray to remove and neutralize and kill odors and stains. And it has kind of like a cinnamon scent to it, but I have noticed that it works really, really well. And so in conjunction with the Bissell Little Green, I really like the spray. Next, we bought this pack of dog toys. It came with like a gazillion different toys. And we thought this was just the best value for all the different toys that you get. And she loves pretty much all of them. I will say her very favorite toys are the ones that have kind of a crinkly sound. And she also loves tiny little balls. She loves just running around and chasing those balls, but this pack was really inexpensive and a good value. Next, our breeder highly, highly recommended that we get an actual pet hair dryer. So she said you can use, you know, your regular hair dryer for after she bathes, but she highly recommended that we invest in a pet blow dryer. So I got one and this thing is so, so powerful. And really it is very, very nice because it dries her within like probably less than 10 minutes from being like soaking wet to all the way dry. It also has a heat features. So it's a heated and nice, powerful blow dryer that will dry her very quickly because I don't want to like subject her to a super long kind of like traumatic blow drying session where she's just like sitting there with the loud noise and the air. And so we are really, really grateful that she recommended this pet hair dryer because it really is awesome. In addition to that, I just did not really want to spend like a ton of money getting her professionally groomed every couple weeks. So I bought this pet grooming, like all in one kit. It's like a pet vacuum. So if you have a dog that sheds, this would be amazing because you just brush and it has like a vacuum attached to the brush and it will just like suck up all of the hair on your shedding pet. But since she doesn't shed, I actually have the attachment that has a buzz cutter so I can just cut her hair and it it just sucks up right away. There's nothing on the ground and it is so easy. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos to help me because I've never groomed a dog, obviously. And I think I did a pretty good job and she actually enjoys it. She kind of like falls asleep when, when I do it because I think it's just, I don't know, it kind of takes me a long time. So she falls asleep, but this thing is awesome and it's been saving us a ton of money. And bonus is I actually use it to cut my son's hair because he hates getting hair all over himself. So I just use like the longest attachment and I cut his hair and the hair doesn't go like all over him. It just sucks right up in the vacuum and it's awesome. So I love, love, love this pet hair cutting vacuum combo thing. It's sweet. <laughs> So as far as bathing supplies go, I have been a huge fan of BioSilk my entire life. And I remember growing up, our friends and neighbors had like, they bred dogs and they would always use BioSilk on their dogs. And so I was kind of surprised, not like super surprised, but I was happy to see that BioSilk actually makes pet products. So I bought their conditioner and I also bought their dog spray. So whenever she needs just a little bit to like freshen up, I'll spray the BioSilk spray on her and then just brush it out using this self-cleaning slicker brush. 
brush and she smells so nice. It just makes her coat so like soft and silky and I love it. I also had a friend recommend this hemp shampoo. It's like raspberry and orange or something. It smells really, really good and she really likes it. And I use that with the BioSilk conditioner. I also bought these little like hair brushing, like little, like little scrubby things, but we haven't really used those. I like tried using it a couple times and it wasn't like the coolest thing ever. I don't know, it just didn't seem like it worked as well as our fingers did and our hands. So I don't really use those, but I did buy them and I don't know, they're kind of like a, if you get it for free, maybe it's good, but I probably wouldn't spend my money on it again. Since we're talking about grooming, I also picked up this little nail trimming kit. So it came with some nail clippers, some dog clippers, as well as this grinder. So what I like about the grinder is it kind of like files the nails and it it's just like battery operated. Well, it's not battery operated. You can actually just recharge it, which is really nice, but it comes with a light, which is really nice. And it's like really quiet. So I just turned it on and you can hear on the mic here. I'll turn it on the mic like this. So I just turned it on low and you can hear it's really not that loud. So it's like, it's not going to startle her or scare her, which I really like. It has a couple different settings. So it has like a low, medium and high. And like I said, you just like use this little part on the top to kind of help grind down the nail. So it files and it's not so sharp. There were a couple on Amazon that didn't have the flashlight feature, but I was reading the reviews and it said that the flashlight feature is actually really, really nice because you can get in there and see. And seeing as she has black fingernails, it really helps to just like be able to get in there and be like very super careful to make sure that they're not too short. Next, I bought these little silicone treat bags so that when we do take her out, we have a little pouch full of her favorite treats to reward her or to just give to her. And they're just like really cute. They're like pink and silicone. And then there was like a blue one as well. So we just attached that to her little like crate that we got her and it goes on the leash. All right, next is something that has been really, really nice to have, which I've talked about before. It's our new Roomba J6 plus robot bag. Vacuum. So I just have it running every single day. And since we do have a dog now, like I don't like, I don't know. I just am kind of <laughs> grossed out by just germs in general, but like I'm aware that now that we have a dog, she is tracking in a little bit more dirt than like if we didn't have her. So it's really nice to have this vacuum and it has been sucking up everything. This is like the best robot vacuum on the market. I've talked about it in several other videos. It's amazing and I'm so grateful for it. Now that she's used to it, like she's very neutral to the vacuum, so it's okay. And I I don't know. I just think that it is a absolute must if you have a pet or a dog to have something vacuuming every single day because things just they just accumulate. Like, you know what I mean, right? Next, something that I bought are these slow feeder bowls. So we are feeding her a little bit of kibble, but then we're actually also doing the farmer's dog food. Like I'm paying for it with my own money. It's like, for me, the research shows that the best dog food that you can afford is like the absolute best thing that you can feed your dog. And I had a friend who told me the number one thing that you should do for your dog is get it like high quality dog food. And now that I'm obsessed with her, I want her to live as long as humanly or dogly as long as possible. So we are trying to feed her, you know, the best diet that she can get. So I like these slow feeder bowls because when we put the farmer's dog in there, she loves it and she just like inhales it. So I do this. So then it kind of helps her to like eat a little bit slower. So she doesn't have any tummy issues. And I wash this every single day. And I just like every single time I change her water and every single time I change her food, I like wash her bowls because I don't want her to get like dental issues. You know what I mean? So this slow feeder bowl is really nice and I love it. The next thing I got is this little lead leash. This is called like a house line. So this is different than a like leash that you'll find that has like the metal buckles that go in the collar. This just goes right around her neck and there's like a little safety stopper thing and then a safety stopper on this side. And we had her on this house line from the minute we got her until she went to her training. And I don't use this as much anymore because she's very well trained, but I highly recommend if you have a brand new puppy to keep them on a house line as long as possible and always have them either strapped to you or have them like strapped to something. I watched a ton of dog videos before we got Boo Boo and that was pretty much a really like number 
one recommendation from most of the dog training videos on YouTube is to keep them close to you. Like don't give them too much freedom during that first several months, honestly, is what they said, because you don't want to give them the opportunity to do the wrong thing. And if you have them close to you, then you can like pick up on those cues and make sure that they're doing the right thing. So this was really nice because it's not going to like scratch up anything. If she ran away, it was nice to just like be able to have, you know, six feet to be able to grab her really quickly. And so we use this still every single day to practice her walking, practicing her downs that Michael taught us. And I highly recommend a house line. Something that, I don't know, I was just kind of experimenting with, but it's the fluent pet talking buttons. So if you've been on social media, you've probably seen these before. They're little buttons that you record a sound or a word into, and then it helps you and your dog like communicate with each other. So there are some dogs who are like really, really advanced with this, but we just kind of wanted to like test it out. Our kids saw on Instagram or Facebook or something. And so we wanted to try it out and she's actually been doing a really good job. So we have like five or six buttons right now and we use them for every single time. Like she needs to go potty every time she wants to eat, every time she wants to play. And like, it's really fun because I feel like she's picking up on it. Like just barely she went and she hit water and then she went and like drank some water. So I was like pretty amazed. Like Catans are so intelligent and I think most dogs are intelligent like enough to pick up on just like training. Like they love training. So I'm a huge proponent of that. And I'm just so grateful again, like to Michael because he did a phenomenal job training her. And of course, like we are doing our part every single day to like continue her training and to work on it with her. So I'm just so grateful. The next thing I got was this little doggy bell. So bell training is when you train your dog to basically ring a bell whenever they need to go outside. So I got this little bell chain and it kind of like snaps like to different lengths so you can do it as high or as low as you want. And we just trained her by ringing the bell every single time she needed to go potty when we were taking her out potty. And then now she just goes up and rings it. It only took like one and a half days for her to catch on. So I highly recommend bell training if you have a new puppy, it is so convenient. Next here in Salt Lake City, it is really, really cold and she is kind of a more petite dog and she's kind of shaved down right now. So I wanted to get her a waterproof coat because I actually did do some research on this to see if they actually did need a coat because my husband was like, she's a dog, she already has it. But since she is so small and her legs are so tiny, she gets really cold when she goes outside. So I got her this doggy coat that is so cute on her and I got it in the brightest color that they have because I wanted her to stand out when we were walking, especially like at night. And it has little reflective strips, which is really good because she is an all black dog. I really worry about her running around like at nighttime. So I wanted to get her something that was like really bright and that we could see her whether it was dark or in the snow or whatever it was. The reason I picked this one is because it has little legs. Like most dog coats only cover like their chest and their back and it's pretty exposed in the back, but this one has leg holes and it's exposed in the back, like on the bottom. So she can still go to the bathroom. It's windproof, waterproof, and it is so warm. Like I want a coat or a vest that is this material because it is so cute. So I did a ton of research. There's a ton of them out there, but this one was definitely the best one that I could find. Next, I wanted to buy some grooming shears for her because she does need to get haircuts. However, I didn't want to always be relying on like my kitchen scissors or like something that wasn't a great product for like when she needed little touch-ups between her grooming appointments if I took her to the groomers. So I got this cute little grooming set and these are really nice. The little tips of the shears are like blunt. So then there's not really like a huge risk of cutting, which is really nice. And then it came with some really like sharp straight shears, some thinning shears, and then these are the curved ones, which are really nice for like rounding out like the ears, rounding out the face and making them look super cute and like a teddy bear. It also came with a metal comb, which you absolutely need to get out any knots or mat. And it has like a really thin side and like a little thicker side to get out any knots. Next, we bought the Snuggle Puppy. This is like, it has tons of good reviews and it's like really popular. And our friend told us that like their puppy like absolutely loves and adores it still to this day. So I bought it. It's like a $40 stuffed animal that has like a heartbeat in it. Like she did not really like take to it. So that was kind of a bust for us, but I don't know. I'm sure it works for others because it has like a gazillion good reviews. But for us, the snuggle puppy was just a very expensive stuffed animal that has never been used after the first couple days. So the number one treat that we, I really like are these pup fur treats. One of my friends that is obsessed with her dog recommended them to me. And they're actually, I think a local Utah 
company. I bought the freeze-dried chicken and I also bought, I think, the beef liver ones and she really, really likes these. So the thing that I really like about them is, look at the ingredients. There's only two ingredients, so it's chicken and mixed tocopherol, so it's a natural antioxidant. So it's just freeze-dried chicken. There's not like a ton of questionable ingredients in there. So I really like these. They are less than one calorie per treat, so I can train her with them really well and she really enjoys them. So I really like the pupper treats and she has really been doing well with those. The last thing that I have, which I actually didn't like buy directly, but this was from Luna's dog trainer, Michael. So he gave us this micro educator e-collar to help continue her training at home after he was done with her. So this is a little, it's not a shock collar. I've, we've actually tried it on ourselves. It gives like a little buzz, like almost like a little vibration when she is doing behavior that she's not supposed to do or when we need to correct her to do what she is supposed to do. So we put it on for a couple hours a day to continue her training. Michael told us, you know, this is how to do it. This is how to use it. These are the instances in which you use it. And all you do is you just match up like these little red dots. It's magnetic, so it turns on. And it's really, really like nice. It has lots of really good reviews. So the cool thing about it is that, see that one spark, so you can turn on a continuous light or you can kind of just like see the light to see like where she is if she's running around outside. And if we go on walks, we can also have a light on her which is really nice. So this is the micro educator. It comes with just a couple, like a bunch of different settings. Michael set it up for us though, so we don't touch any of the settings. We just do what he says, cause he is the expert. It like really does help her to just like know what to do. It just is like a very gentle reminder to do the right thing. So this has been really great and it's very beneficial for her training. Those are my absolute favorite Amazon dog products. I'm a new dog mom though. So if you have any favorite products, please, please, please let me know. I would love to try out and test some new things for our our special Luna. She's just the best. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you watch this video next and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.